What is up guys? I'm Daddy Gamer Friend and welcome back to another Pokemon Sword and Shield video. In today's video, we're gonna be discussing a character that is coming to the Crown Tundra DLC. Yes, not the Isle of Armor, which is coming out this month in a couple of days. I'm talking about a character that is gonna be coming to the Crown Tundra. Currently, no release date for the Crown Tundra. It is part of the DLC package. So if you do get the Isle of Armor, you are getting the Crown Tundra later this year. However, there's a character in the Crown Tundra that got revealed. Well, kind of got revealed. They kind of got revealed once the DLC was announced. But now this character has a name. We know what the character looks like in-game. And we got a little bit of a backstory in the description. I want to talk about this character because a lot of speculation is going on about the appearance of this character, particularly their hat. So let's just dive in. Let's read the description at first and then let's go into this controversy, this discussion that everyone is having online about this character, this character here, Penny. Let's jump into the official Pokemon website to bring up the description of this guy again this is from the official pokemon website i'm gonna have a link to this news article in the description below so you guys can check it out it says upon arriving in the crown chandra you will encounter penny who has brought his daughter along for the adventure to find the truth behind the tales of the legendary pokemon in the area listening isn't his strong suit and his bold behavior draws plenty of attention, but he has a kind side and plenty of affection for his daughter. Now again, the main reason that a lot of people are talking about this character is not because it got revealed and, you know, we've seen a little bit of him inside of today's trailer, is that upon closer inspection of this character, you see this. What, again, looks like a logo of a Pokemon on his head. Now again, this logo could be anything. It could be anything in that new DLC. It could be the team he's working for, anything. It could be, you know, the new evil organization from the DLC. It could be a store. We know in Galar there's a ton of logos that Leon rocks on his cape. This could just easily be something else like that. What a lot of people are just gaining and speculating is that maybe this is particularly a brand new Pokemon that is going to be introduced in the second part of the DLC. Because if you would look at it, it looks kind of like a, you know, a Pokemon that's kind of-ish, Meltan-ish. Where, you know, with the eye in the middle and it looks like it has like a black mohawk hair with like these little white, you know, dots on his face similar to a fan and stuff like that. A lot of people are drawing that conclusion that it could just be a head of a dinosaur, perhaps. I don't know. Me? I'm gonna need a little bit more convincing that this image right here is connected to any type of Pokemon. Granted, I do like the speculation and talking about it. I don't want to put out there the misinformation that a lot of people may be spilling that this indeed is a clue to a new Pokemon. I... I think it's more safe to assume that this is just going to be the team that the character is a part of, that he's digging with. We do know that he is part of a team of explorers trying to find the answers for these legendary Pokemon in the area. Maybe this is the logo of that said team. And I wouldn't be surprised if it is. However, I did want to talk about this in the video because a lot of people online are talking about it. And I felt appropriate to have the discussion with you guys. A lot of people are also pointing out that it looks like a P and his name is Penny. So maybe that's a connection. A lot of people are speculating that this character Penny may be somehow connected to Leon because they kind of look alike. I want to say kind of look alike as a stretch. They, you know, they fall in the same ballpark of maybe brothers, maybe cousins, maybe related, but who knows? We don't have no information about this character being related to Leon at all. And to draw that conclusion based on looks itself, especially in a Pokemon game, is that's probably no no <laughs> i don't i, I <laughs> i'm laughing because i how can you even make that conclusion and with the art style of a pokemon of somebody being related to somebody else however again 
I thought this was interesting enough to do a video on it because I want to hear from you guys. Let me know in the comment section below, what's your thoughts on this character, Penny? Do you think you need to see more to draw a conclusion, whether this person is good or bad or whatever? Do you think that logo on its head is a brand new Pokemon? Is it a tease for a brand new Pokemon? Or do you think that's just the logo of the team he's in charge of that's going to go on these missions and search for these legendary Pokemon. Let's have that discussion down in the comments below. As you guys know, I answer all comments, so let's talk about it down there. If you're new around here, I do videos like this all the time, talking about Pokemon, talking about any game in particular that I like, and I want to have that discussion with you guys. I drop a video on it. If you're into that sort of type of thing, hit that subscribe button. Drop a like if you found this video informative or helpful or whatever. It does help out the channel a lot moving this video into recommended so other people can check out the video peace i love you thank you for stopping by i'm gonna see you guys on the next one thank you thank you thank you for making it to the end of this video if you're not a subscriber and you made it this far hit that subscribe button you know you want to join the family ring the bell so you can be notified on the next time i drop one of my videos as well as hit the like button on this video so it could be recommended so more people can check it out so we can have more people join in the family if you want to keep up with me on other social media platforms such as twitter instagram or tiktok or whatever i'm daddy gamer fred on all all of those again daddy gamer fred you'll be able to find all those links in the description of this video and the pin tweet comment on my twitter also on all of my videos i do answer all comments so again if you just want to chat it up about the video or anything just hit me up in the comment section below i take time out of my day and literally answer to all the comments that you guys leave me and i love it and again let's have that conversation down there here are a couple of suggested videos that you guys should check out that may be of your interest i am a variety channel i do tons of stuff tons of pokemon but tons of other stuff as well so dive into these videos peace i love you guys i'm gonna see you guys on the next one